All right, guys, I'm just going to do a demo on how to change the needle on the HVLP. What we do is unscrew. That's just two parts, set them to one side. <coughs> Everything's usually hand tight, so you don't need tools. Take the end off, spring comes out, and then it's quick release. So all the way in on the left hand side is locked. That's now unlocked and you can tell because the trigger actually moves freely. I always give it a little pull. Uh, the needle's out. So let's put a number number five in. It says the number there. And towards the back of the needle there. So just make sure you've got them matched up to the right ones. <laughs> Otherwise it won't fit in because they're different widths. If you look, that's a five and that's a three. So there's quite a big difference in the uh, shape. So to change needle, put the needle all the way in. You'll feel uh, some resistance in a spring. Push it back, lock in, test. Yeah, it's in, get spring. It's got some notches, marry the notches up. Get it threaded, then pull the trigger back and tighten. <coughs> that way, you're not tightening with the needle against it, so you've got less chance of damaging the needle. And then, all you do is put these two bits back on, find the thread, screw it back on. That's how you change the needle. Just going to do the Greco 9.5, just going to spray this door as an example and I'll probably do that bit of architrave or that bit of trim as well. So this is pre-set up. <laughs> uh, just pull the trigger and then smart start uh, kicks in. So what I'm going to do is start with the <coughs> settings on the minimal. And you notice that when it's on north, you can't you know, the pull A, you can't pull paint. So if I drop that up to three, and then start on about halfway. It's quite a fine pattern. And then you can adjust it to a smaller width. Then increase your pain, increase your air, move faster, make it smaller. So once you, if you've got a section of brown paper or wallpaper, you can get your test section so you know how wide you're going. That's quite good for that. So then you've got minimal spray either side, so you haven't got to use as much masking. And remember, you can go upside down. Which is good because you can get under, um, under handrails. So then, we're going from a couple of inches. I think it's still on. Uh, if we were then to paint the door, We'd then adjust that fan width to probably close to widest. Again, start down with the air and the paint. So the more the more fluid <laughs> that you let out, the faster it will go. So if I turn that down with the fluid. turn the fluid up, you will be able to go faster even without changing the air. This is just a rough demonstration. I always try to have 
Put a little less than 50% overlap. And as well, I never let go of the air. So I will let go of the pain and then <coughs> start again, obviously a bit better than I have done there. <coughs> but once that's dry, it'll level out quite well and uh, you can still go quite fast compared to an airless. But there is a bit of dust in the air, that's because I've got the air on quite high. So you can reduce the overspray by reducing the air and the fluid. So, yeah, a little demo with the HPLP.